Hey guys, it's Shayna from The Mom Edit and I'm here today to talk about the denim on denim trend. If you are as old as I am, like, I don't know, like 40s-ish, when you hear denim on denim, I bet the first thing you think of is something like this. If you have a chambray shirt languishing in the back of your closet and you've been like, yes, I've been waiting to bring you out, this is your time, go nuts. That said, like most trends, when they come around the second or third or fourth time or whatever, there's always something like a little different. And so I wanted to get into what the denim on denim trend really looks like for 2023 and some like really exciting ways to rock it. So let's get into it. First up, denim shirts have evolved far past the old like chambray button down. For 2023, look for a denim shirt or even a denim jacket that has like an interesting, unique twist. Think like peplum shapes, pussy bow collars, cool sleeves, or something different. So if you can find like a denim shirt that has, you know, any of these kind of like cool details, like that will definitely feel fresh for 2023. Another idea is to go in the opposite direction of the chambray shirt and get something like really sexy, like a denim corset or a denim tank top those are two really easy ways to like really elevate the look the other sort of like unique twist that I am like very much into is this sort of like denim jacket shirt hybrid these pieces are usually like boxy and oversized they do have like the buttons of a traditional denim jacket this is like a far cry from like the old denim jackets that were fitted they're usually a little bit cropped and the reason i like this trend so much is they're like ridiculously soft you wear it more like a shirt it feels kind of like a shirt jacket hybrid it's like all good stuff and then even if you're looking for you know an update to your old denim jacket like look for something like really oversized or look for something with like again like like more of a feminine play or like maybe bomber jacket styling or something. The one key takeaway here is look for something interesting to pair with all of your normal denim and that will immediately elevate the trend and make it feel dramatically different than the 2010 chambray shirt trend. All right, so my next tip is back in the day, there were like very specific rules. Like you wanted to pair your light wash chambray shirt with dark denim jeans and that is all out the window. Now try matching, right? Like dark shirt, dark pants or light shirt, light pants or or honestly, the rules on matching or not matching are so totally out the window that you can even get by with like almost matching, but doesn't quite match. It's all good stuff. The denim on denim trend right now is so big that it's literally like anything goes. You should feel total freedom to put denim pieces together. And if you like it, it's good. That's the rule. <laughs> All right, so my third tip, you know, and as much as I love that sort of like tailored look, you know, again, like that gap photo, if you wanted to do a fresh spin, especially on a weekend, look for something like loose and oversized. Long, loose, baggy jeans are such a huge trend in and of themselves right now that pairing like oversized baggy jeans with some sort of like oversized denim top, especially if it has some sort of like cool detail, like that is like a really great look. So instead of like thinking of denim on denim as being like tailored or fitted, go the other direction for 2023 and come up with like big and big and big. <laughs> if the oversized and oversized feels a little too much, just leave the denim shirt untucked. Unbuttoning a few buttons at the bottom, you could even try knotting it at the waist, you could try doing the half tuck again, just sort of you're like hinting at that oversized shape but kind of reining it in a little bit more in a way that's more comfortable. So try playing around with leaving the denim shirt untucked. Or honestly, that's why I like those cropped sort of boxy denim jacket shirt hybrids. I find them like so easy to wear and really fresh. All right, and then my last little quick tip here is um, to rock the denim on denim trend. Don't overlook patched jeans or patched jean jackets. So it's like, you know, multiple denim in one piece. They're all kind of patched on top of each other. It kind of spoofs the look. It feels really current right now and it's so easy to wear. So I just wanted to get into my personal favorite pieces and it turns out there's five. I have five pieces that I swear by for, you know, rocking this sort of denim on denim trend and I just wanted to like quick go through what my five favorite pieces are right now. So number one, I did invest in a little denim tank top. This is from The Gap. It's I think almost completely sold out, which is a bummer. But here's the thing, there's a million of them and we will link some below. I didn't wanna wear a corset. <laughs> I liked that this one, and I bought it a size up, is a little bit like more boxy and more swingy. I think it's gonna be great even in the summer. I'm wearing it with light jeans, with dark jeans, with patched jeans, with like all the jeans. So yeah, denim tank top. This has been a really fun and versatile piece. So I guess I'm thumbs upping now. So 
All right, the next piece I personally am so ridiculously excited about is this A Gold E denim shirt jacket. And this is that sort of like hybrid piece I was talking about earlier. It feels like a shirt, but it sort of has that denim jacket styling, although I personally will be wearing it more like a shirt. Actually, mm, the cropped shape means that it's gonna look really cute over dresses too. So yeah, I highly recommend this piece. I love, love, love it. I guess that gets a thumbs up. So next up are patched jeans. And I bought these last summer. These are the Free People Moxie jeans and I love them. They look so good with everything. Well, I mean, if I'm being honest here, I really just wear them with Birkenstocks and honestly, that's enough. They look amazing with Birkenstocks and little tank tops and they were probably one of my most worn pairs of jeans all summer and I feel like, you know, they kind of spoof the denim on denim look. Close enough. <laughs> my next recommendation is actually the pair of jeans I'm wearing. They're a pair of color blocked patched jeans from The Gap. They're freaking phenomenal. Yeah, they're soft, they're comfortable. They look way more expensive than they are and I've been like really happy. They do have that sort of like baggy oversized look that I was going for. And then last but not least is this like adorable denim jacket from Oofwear. It's an Italian brand that I bought at a little boutique in Stowe. I do believe Anthropology is carrying it. We'll put the links below. We'll actually put both links below because shop local, shop local. This piece is just fun. Kind of just elevates any outfit. It goes with all of my jeans. It goes over dresses. It's just like a really easy way to sort of rock that double denim trend. That's it, double denim, it's on. Let me know um, if there's any other trends you want me to get into or if you have any questions about this one. And yeah, like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching guys. So this was like, all right, my next piece. <laughs> okay. God, Sydney and Connor are gonna be like, stop with the thumbs up, Shayna.